Here we have a 2005 Volkswagen Jetta SE TDI 140 in a sort of light blue grey colour. If we start with the offside front tyre, tread wise on the front, you're looking at around 4 to 5 mil. As you can see with the uh, Volkswagens, you do tend to get these aluminium sort finish alloys and they corrode really bad. As you can see, a lot of corrosion on the front alloy here, so it's definitely going to need a refurb. Looking down the off side of the vehicle, it's a little bit wet, um, but taking a good look, I personally can't see any signs of any dinks, dents, or any major bits of damage at all. Um, mirror caps are clean, nice condition there. Drive's door, you've got a couple of light like, scratches, a couple of scratches under the door still there, that one's quite heavy, um, so do be aware of that. Door edge has got a few little marks and chips to it, and a little bit of rust here towards the bottom of the door, so be aware of that as well. Sills are in nice condition. Taking a quick look at the roof, again a little bit wet, but can't see any signs of any damage or any dents at all there. Rear passenger door, a couple of light little scratches that could just do with a polish. And as you can see under here, got a slight dent in the uh, the bodywork there, and then two deep, very uh, big scratches, as you can see. So that's quite a bit of damage there to the bottom. And then moving towards the offside rear quarter panel. Very clean, no signs of any marks there, so that's great. And you've got around 5mm of tread on the rear tyre. Again, you're looking at quite a lot of corrosion to the offside rear alloy. Um, doesn't appear to be any um, curbing at all, but again, you can see it's even starting to peel off. So it's definitely going to need a refurb there. Moving towards the rear of the vehicle. Looking at the back here. No signs of any dinks or any dents there. A uh, couple of scratches to the back of the boot lid here. Uh, it's quite common with the cars we have in, to be honest. Um, most of them are very light, so should polish out, no problem. But no signs of any damage at all to any of the plastics. Uh, now, do be aware that the boot doesn't open off the key. Uh, I have tried it quite a few times. Doesn't seem to unlock by hand either. So you do have to actually insert the key um, to unlock the boot. So we'll just try that now. I do apologise about this, it's a bit awkward. Holding the camera as well. There you go. So do be aware that the boot unlock doesn't actually work, so you have to unlock it by the key. A nice condition of the boots as well. And you do get your spare tyre and all your bits and bobs in there as well, so that's great. Moving towards the near side of the car, if we have a look at the near side rear tyre. Again, you're looking at around 5mm of tread, so that's plenty. And again, a very heavy, uh, heavily corroded alloy there. So again, definitely going to need a refurb. Looking down the near side of the car, we've got a small dink on the front passenger door, which I'll show you in a second. Apart from that, I couldn't see any signs of any other dinks or any dents. Uh, rear door edge on the passenger door is fine. No signs of any chips there. A couple of light little scratches to the paintwork. A few age-related marks. No signs of any marks or sills. Look at the front door edge, a couple of very little minor chips there to require some paint. And just showing you this small dent. As you can see, it's around fingertip size. And you have got some marks to the paintwork as well with it. Large scuff to the mirror cap there. As you can see, someone tried to paint that in. And then some scratches as we lead to the front tyre. Which has got around 5mm of tread again, so plenty of tread on all four tyres. Again, heavily corroded alloy. So again, four-wheel refurbs. Bit of a scuff here on the near side front arch. And again, around the front bumper there, you can see someone else's paint has rubbed off there. Looking at the bonnet, you've got one or two stone chips that just require some touchings of paint. But not a lot, really. A couple of light little scratches as well. Bit of a scratch to the uh, offside front bumper. Again, very light, so should polish. But no signs of any damage at all to the front bumpers, etc. So that's great. Take a look inside the vehicle. Cloth interior. Really nice condition to be fair. A couple of stains here and there as you can see. With a good valet it should fetch those out. But no signs of any damage, no rips or tears at all in the interior which is great. And the same with the back of the seats and the mats. It's in nice condition to be fair inside. And if we take a look inside in the front, looking at the driver's seat here, again, it is in nice condition. Holsters are well kept, 
and the same in the interior, no signs of no damage. And looking at the passenger seat, a little bit of a fray there. Again, nothing major as you can see. Um, but apart from that, again, nice condition for its age. Look at the rest of the interior. It's all very clean and tidy. Steering wheel's in nice condition. That's great. If we step inside the car, I can show you the, uh, the mileage and things. This door shut. Now you do get two sets of keys with the vehicle. And if we just get the car started up. So as you can see, starts first time, no problem at all. 71,672 miles on the clock, so not too bad for its age. And as you can see, I've got a symbol up there in yellow. I'm not too sure what that is, but do be aware of that anyway. Well, function stone works perfectly fine. Like I said, it's in nice condition. Radio and CD here. No problems at all with the sound, still sounds great. And everything functions exactly how it should. Um, also, you've got your heating here. Uh, no air conditioning by the looks of things. Manual transmission. If we have a look at the documents, we'll have a look at the V5 first. And the car's had two owners. It does come with an MOT certificate. Gents here, December 22nd, 2013, so not long left on the MOT at all. And you do get full non franchise service history. Plenty of service history on the vehicle. First one there at 15. Second one there at 27,783. 38, 50,000, 59,000, and your last one there, I believe, at 69,000 miles. So, very recently serviced, which is great. There we go, guys. It's the 2005 Volkswagen Jetta SE TDI. And for Carver Sage, it's not in too bad condition at all.